Hello guys, welcome back to another episode of Stoneblock 2, and again, we are starting off in our automation room. Let's go ahead and get into what we're doing today. Guys, we need to, as you can tell from the title, we need to make some more of these, uh, I don't know if it's in the title, Crystal Growth Chambers. So we need to make some of these. Um, and to make these, actually, I just want to automate that. And let's see, that takes quartz glass. Okay, so we do, we have everything we need for quartz glass, I believe. And then let's just make a recipe for that. Cool beans. We'll put them in. All right. Go ahead. Oh, not this guy. We need to make a D guy. So let's see. Six times three is 18. But, 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 but. But we need more of these. Stop using the pure stuff. Jeez, Louise, peoples. Okay, there we go. And we should be able. Oh, whoa, 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 whoa. Should be able to make up. Let's see, 12 of these. Yep, cool. So we're making up 12 of these. And then we have enough of those. Cool beans. All right. So we do need to pulverize some stuff for how much do we need to pulverize? Okay, so we're making progress. Cool. I would also like to upgrade these in this episode today, but we gotta be quick. We gotta be quick. I don't know why we gotta be quick, but we gotta be quick. Okay. So I need a pattern encoder yet. Uh, we got those done. Wireless connector. Ooh, cool beans. So we got another one of those. Good. Here. So we're going to put these guys right up above this here, just right here in the corner. And we're mining this really slow because we're flying. Oh, man. Okay. We just need the pipe to come up here like so. Boop, like that. And then we're going to go ahead and block this off. That will be covered from the outside. So we'll just have a cable running up through there, which is cool. We can just use a normal cable. Oh, come on. Yep, just like, oh wait, hold on. Let's grab one more of these. Cool. Now we have all three of them. We'll just grab a couple. We'll grab all. Okay, and these will go here. Yeah, that looks good. And we'll grab this. Actually, we need to mine this one. Boom. We go, it should go to five when it updates. Are we out of channels, really? No, we're not out of channels yet. We're probably gonna have to run a few colors back here, guys. I'm not gonna lie. Oh, this might not need it. Oh, shoot. We need to have ME interfaces <laughs> and all that on there. Okay, so I'm just gonna mine these. Well, that didn't work how I thought it would. Okay. So this isn't going to be as simple as I was hoping it would be, unfortunately. Now we can stand up here, which is good. Okay, so we need an ME interface on the back of each of these and an import bus on top of each of these. We're going to go all the way over here. Okay, so... ME interface... There you are. What are you? ME fluid interface. Ooh, spooky. Perfect. Now we need import bus right here. Oops, missed it. We need sticky pistons. Oh, we're out of pistons. How are we out of pistons already? 
Craft up like a full stack, like not even a couple minutes ago. Okay, one, two, three. Booey, boo, what? Some words. Um, let's go ahead and make some more cable too. Screw it, I used the pure stuff. I don't care. I wasn't in the mood. Okay, so we need to have a these places. Uh, like a, like a these. Cool. So we have Emmy import bus on the top. Then we have Emmy interface. Oh, shnikes, that's not right. Then we have Emmy interface here. And then boom. And then boom. Yes? No? Yes, they're all connected. Good. This is very good. Okay. So these are all connected. I don't know if that's getting power or not. It looks beautiful, though. Mm. So good. Mm. Okay, do. Okay, baby. Um. Let's get the patterns going for these guys. So we need some dust. Do we have any dust? Let's make up like 10 dust. And perfect. We need some sand. Do we have any sand? We got some sand. Okay, so one to one processing. So one of these and one of these make a dith, two of these. Boom. Okay, so if we go here, crystal growth chamber. Cool. So it's gonna, just, it's one, whatever. It's we have. It's overkill. It's way overkill. What we're gonna use it for? Um, and then we need more dust. We got uh, some of these. Okay. So one of these and one. Oh, not sixty-one of those. And one of these equals two of these. Cool beans. And then like that. Oh, I didn't do it, did I? <gasps> no! Oh, wait. I didn't do it. Cool. There we go. Now we're good. Now we're good. Okay. So now it's like that. Cool. And then one of these. Uh, where's the quartz at? Hello, quartz. One of those. And then charged. Hello, charged. Are you there? Oh, right here. Snake. Okay, so one of these. Boom. One of those. Boom. And one of these. Boom. Equals two of these. Boom. Shakalaka. Like that. Cool. So we have all of those made up. So now we have the piercer squirts auto crafting. Oh. Wait a sec. So that's the only one that's set up right. Okay. This needs to be in a... Cr these need to be in crafting grids. Like this. Yeah. And so then we take those seeds. Like this. Whoops. Where am I going? I'll just make two of these. Oh, we need these. Well, whatever. And then we need pure Surtis Quartz. Perfect. Look at it. Oh, my gosh. It's like I thought this through. And so then one of these equals, not that, equals one of these, like so. And then one of this guy equals one of this guy. And we get, uh, oops, don't take the patterns out. We have that. So now these go in the crystal growth chambers like this. Aha. Cool. So we need 15 of these. Cool. I hope they're, they take five each. Let's have a look. I haven't checked. These take three each, so we're going to have some extra. But it is okay. <clears throat> Acceleration cards. That's actually all we need. So boom here, boom here, and... Oh, we already have some in there. Well, we had a lot of overkill. Okay, so now let's test it out. Go. Dang it, hit again. 
Go like this, say... Hey, can we make 10 of these? And they'll be like, sure. <gasps> oh! It doesn't work. Really? Hmm, okay. We need to run power to it. <clears throat> yep. Darn. Okay, let's test them all out, though. So we'll test this guy out. We'll do a total of 10. No crafting CPUs available, son of a nutcracker. That means probably I messed up a recipe. Cancel those. Okay, so... Yep, that's been made. Oh, cool. We can take those accelerators, those uh, accelerator cards, and put them up in the export import buses. Where'd they go? There they are. Let's sneak around back and do that. All right. Like this. So now those will get out of there real quick. Oh, we also need those on our system as well. So let's get a bunch of these crafted up. Just like so. Cool thing is those are all automated. I love it. So we should see this start to... Oh, we had enough. Cool. Yep, it's making it. We got four. Perfect. We have enough for the guy up top. So these all work now, now that that's been put down there. Um, unfortunately, it doesn't look as good, which I'm kind of sad about. We're gonna, we can uh, always put like a, a an anchor cover over it, just like we did for these guys here. So it, it won't look bad all always, but it'll look bad for now. But now those that's all automated. So now we don't have to worry about making those anymore, which is awesome. So we can just worry about making our stuffs. So cool. <clears throat> um... So the crystal growth accelerators have been complete. Now I don't know what system I'm going to do down here. Mm, I might do a few of these going upward. So they'll be that'll be like this stack going this way, going up, and there'll be a few of these in the corners. And then we'll have the bolt crafting in the middle, which I think would be pretty cool. So we can go one, two, three, four, maybe, or we can go one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight of these. So we'll just have a heck ton of these going straight up. And I think that's going to be the best for what we're doing because I want to have everything automated that we can because that's the neat thing. You know what I mean? Uh, I still haven't even I still haven't even done these yet, guys. Oh my gosh, I need to do these way off camera. But we need to set up sand really bad because that's how we're going to be able to get into the reactor and get rid of the lava power. And then we're going to start really producing some power and hopefully able to get a uh, draconic reactor, which I think I'm going to put up here in the roof. It's going to be kind of like this half moon up above us. I think that's going to look really cool. But we'll have to see how big that's going to be. All right, I'll be right back. All right, guys. So we're going to uh, we're going to get our beak sweat this episode with a little bit of compacting machines. Please be quiet. Thank you. So if you guys don't know, I've been automating sugarcane, and that's how we're doing it. Snad. The exact same setup as the, the cacti over here. So anyway, uh, we're going to be getting into um, compacting machine. I've already made these Game Boys. Oh, I made four of those. Whoops. Oh, well. So you need these in a decent-sized space. Um, we're going to go like this just to be safe. Um, we're going to set it up here temporarily for now. Would it be weird to put a compacting machine inside of a compacting machine? Would that, is that weird to think about? I don't know. It might be. It might be weird to some people. It might not be weird to others. Uh, but let's go ahead. We're going to make a mega torch just to be safe so we don't uh, spawn any bad boys in. Because what you're going to do when they come for you, right? Okay, so let's go down here. Uh, we're also... Uh, do you see how this thing is a 3x3 three three with hollow in the middle? We're going to put that around on each side. That will solve our issues of uh, getting more channels over there. 
So let's go ahead and put this bad boy back. So now no mobs can spawn in here. We're going to put our mob farm back in there. And uh, we might do the same thing, a uh, compacting machine. So we're going to set this bad boy up. Um, let's see. And I believe the Game Boy here will give us some tips. Um, okay. 15 spaces between. Okay, so we can do that. So let's see. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. Cool. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, maybe. One, two, three, four, five, six. One, two, three, four, five, six. Oh yeah, yeah. Um, let's move this back one, maybe. I don't know. This might be too far away. Uh, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven on the eighth. Right. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven on the eighth. Correct. Cool. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven on the eighth. I think this will work. I could be wrong. I might need to move this. <clears throat> okay, so this is pointed the wrong way. If you are wondering why it was so quiet over there, it's because I have mm. I have one of these sound mufflers over there, so it doesn't drive me absolutely bonkers. <clears throat> okay. Invalid block area. Skystone. So, 8, 10. This guy? These need to go up one more. Yeah, okay, let's get them up one more then. So they need to be three tall. Hey, 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 give it back. <laughs> it's trying to steal it. Mm. <clears throat> I'll take this bad boy. All right. And this bad boy. Yeah, buddy. And this bad boy. Yeah, buddy. Okay, let's go one more. Okay. Bless you. Bless you. What the? You, sir, are in the incorrect position. Gosh dang it, it did it again. Ah. I'm trying to break it with an apple. Boom. Look at that. We did it. We did it. Okay. So now we need to make... Let's see, at com. We need to make these. Okay, so redstone and uh, iron. Let's give this a try. What do we else do we need? We need to activate it with redstone. Okay. We'll just do that. Okay. Boop. 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 Look at that. I... Need to make quite a few of these. What if I, like, got shrunk, like, because I got out of there, like, halfway through it, I was, like, half as tall. You know how funny that would be? Psychotic Butcher would never let me leave it down. Let me leave it down. Never gonna give you up. Never gonna let you down. Okay. So the reason we're making a compact machine is because I want to put the witch water stuff there, but I also want to upgrade our setup. So I want to enhance this because this is where all of our quartz is going to come from. And so it's going to automatically pump out quartz and into our system here. It's going to be beautiful. <clears throat> it's going to be a thing of magic. Uh, 
Compacting, 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 compacting. And if you're wondering how much we need, we need a total of a hundred or ninety-eight. Not a hundred, ninety-eight, but you need ninety-eight. And it's gonna be hollow. And so So this needs to be the center block. I'm gonna put a temporary block there so that way we have a reference point. Ah, I don't know how to place blocks. Okay. And so I believe. Yeah, so that block, uh, the block above that one needs to be an emerald, emerald blocko. Emeraldo blocko. Come here. Thank you. Oh. Now, last stone block, we kind of messed around with some compacting machines. But I had, uh, I had some unfortunate events happen. Where I put too many uh, of these guys in here, the uh, item translocator, and it cra like you could every time you open it, the game would crash because I had too many of those running at once. It was a no no. I uh, yeah 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 yeah. We're gonna get a wand out because I don't feel like building so much. Ooh. Okay, so that's hollow, and what do we need to throw at it? An ender pearl, okay. An ender pearl. Cool, let's throw it in. Jong, 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 jong. It's taking a while, huh? It's really working. Right, almost. And boom. So we can go ahead and take these down for now until we need them again. Cool thing is we can set these up on top of our um, top of our glass over there. And so we can pull this out whenever we need it. Very cool. All right, so now we are able to access that little miniature area. Um, let's go over here, because this is where it's going to be set up. We're just going to put it right in this corner, right here. Boom. And then we're going to get some power to it. I think we need power for it. I'm not actually 100% sure. I don't remember if I needed power just to run it, um, but we can. we easily have enough for it. Okay. Whoop, oh, we're in. Cowabunga it is, dude. New entry point set. Check it out, guys. This is our uh, micro. We are very small. Now we're not very small anymore. We're getting unsmall. I don't know what that's called. We're growing, we're becoming an adult. We are an adult. Cool. Okay, so we don't actually need this. So cool. We, we do have one of these, though, for being in there. Uh, but now it is time for the fun stuff. Uh, I need to silk touch that. So we're going to... This has silk touch enabled. Um, silk touch mode enabled and config. Perfect. So I am going to swap out all of the mycelium with dirt... Because this is how we're going to get the mycelium in our inventory. Cool, cool, cool. Yep, and we have all the mycelium. Perfect. Now we can go ahead and tear this setup down. And make a much better, much faster setup. Guys, I'm so excited. Oh, man, it's going to be great. All right, so I'm going to do some more preparing off camera here. I'm going to finish tearing all of this up, and I will meet you guys in the compacting machine. All right, I'm not going to lie. This looks freaking awesome. 
I don't know. It gives me like this war room type feeling when I look at it. I don't know. I think it looks good. Uh, I don't plan. I don't think I'll do any more green accents in here. I might do some up in the corners maybe. Uh, but I think that's going to be it. Otherwise, I'm going to get started out working on the compacting drawer thing. I just wanted to show you guys that. All right, guys. So this is what it looks like with the uh, with all the without the uh, night vision. This looks so cool. I'm not going to lie. I freaking love how this just illuminates the center like that. Oh my gosh. That is that is so different. Oh my gosh. I love it. I love it. And we have the, mag the mega torch down here. So nothing's going to spawn down here. But oh my gosh, guys. That is so cool looking. Man. That, that, it almost looks better without the night vision. So I want to show you guys what I've done in here. Um, I'm going to need to, I think, morph into a chicken. Uh, because underneath here, I need to get under there to um, to set all those so they pull. I, I ran out of fl uh, fluid pipes. Uh, so this is the setup I'm going on. We have six rows here. They're each going to be over here. I'm going to change all this out to stone. That way uh, none of the mushrooms or stuff grows like right here. So it'll be like this line here. Uh, so I got to do that off camera, but um, I, I need to find out the morph mod because it was the... It was... Oh, that's the HUD for Ender... Or Draconic Evolution. So I'm going to look for that. Um, and I will be right back. Not, nothing for Morph. Caca! Caca! Oh! 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 Caca! 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 I'm a demon chicken! Alright, guys. So we got done with it. Let's take, take a look here. Oh, yes. Uh, that's a bit laggy. Let's just go into it instead. <laughs> we got a lot of stuff going on. So I got, I'm so excited about this, guys. Oh, it looks good. It works good. That's all that matters, right? Okay, so here we go. Oh, I brought the key, too. Perfect. So boom, boom, and boom. Cool. So we have... Uh, let me just walk you through the whole process here. So... We have the water going into the top of the stone barrels. These get turned into witch water. It gets sucked out underneath into our tank here, which is our overflow tank. This and this tank get pushed into this tank over here. Uh, and this guy makes some sand, which gets put into this, which gets sucked out of here and put into here, which gets sucked out of here and put into here. And then this gets meshed, meshed, did it. And we make, we make a duh. The things we make we make uh, quartz and we even get gas tears so that's all going into our system now and oh our our base isn't loaded while we're in here that's interesting to know okay so i need to put a few uh chunk loaders uh get them get them working in here but uh they come over here into whoa we're in the into this chest here and they get put in as you can see the nether quartz is going in there and it's getting put up into our system here. So now we have automated gas tiers and nether quartz. Yeah, buddy. And we cleared out this space and made it look really good. Still need to clean out all of this, but it's going to be a... Uh, it's going to look good. We're, we're inching there minute by minute. And here's our cool room again. Shall we look at it with without this on? Oh, oh it's so cool. Oh, oh, oh. F7, it, everything spawns. <laughs> But guys, oh my gosh, that looks amazing. We're going to have that in ev uh, different colors everywhere. So, but if you guys did like the video, please make sure to hit the like button. And as always, don't forget to subscribe. But guys, but Super Turtle and I'm out. I hope you all have a fantastic day. I will see you in the next one. Peace out. Bye-bye.